Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler platter views, series views, I do for the one hour, go over there, trap food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. These are apparently a brand new product. I just so happen to run into them today at the store. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, well, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means that I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That's kind of the case today. Uh... Except that this didn't happen on my way home from work. I decided to go over there and stop off at 7-Eleven on my break. Um, you know, I, it's one of those things where, you know, I due to circumstances and stuff, I ended up taking my break a little bit later in the day than I usually do, which actually I prefer. But, so I was like, cool, you know, take the opportunity, head out to 7-Eleven. They probably have some food ready. They did, you know, might have got some pizza for myself. And, you know, but I always like to look around, see what new stuff has come out, things I could potentially review on the show. And while I was going through, you know, the, the drink section, the cooler and everything, looking around, I'm like, nah, 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 reviewed that, nah, 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 you know. I get over to the energy drink section, and there's a new line of energy drinks. And I was like, oh my god! So, what is it, folks? What am I reviewing for you? Well, there's four flavors, and this is the first one I'm doing. It's Boom! It's Fusion... From 7 Select. This is a 7-Eleven branded uh, energy drink. I actually didn't realize that when I first grabbed it. But when I was looking it over, you know, before doing the review, it's like, yeah, it's got the little 7 Select logo there. So this is an in-house. That means that this is a 7-Eleven exclusive brand. Um, sure, man. You know, obviously 7-Eleven has a lot of their own in-house stuff. I've reviewed a bunch of it over the years now. And typically it's pretty good. So, yeah. Like I said, there's four flavors. I figured I'd start, start out with Paradise Pulse because I don't know. Apparently, it's zero sugar, uh, zero calories, 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is a good amount of caffeine, gluten-free, dual-source caffeine, support energy, mental boost, may help elevate mood. Yeah, okay, so it's also kind of trying to sell itself as one of these, like, fancy schmancy fucking energy drinks. I don't know why. It's fucking 7-Eleven. Just be like, it's an energy drink. Just drink it because you don't want to fall asleep while you're driving. But let's try a thing. Uh, but before we do the thing, let's get a thing for a thing. I think we'll get a thing for a thing. It looks like like that. Ha 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 And let's give it a go. I did buy all four flavors. I'm not reviewing them all today though. I'm just reviewing this one. Mmm. It's got a zero sugar smell. not bad it's it's kind of what i expected though if i'm being entirely honest um it definitely runs along the lines of like the celsius and you know like the, those type of energy drinks in kind of I, I like i wouldn't be surprised if it was you know i'm not saying it is i wouldn't be surprised though if it was just like some off-brand version of that um because it's very similar which is kind of good and bad i mean the Celsius brand and some of those other ones. Some of them are pretty solid for what they are. This one, you know, kind of is. It, it definitely, it doesn't feel quite as refined as those do, but it definitely shares some of the positive traits. Um, one of which being that although there is a pretty pronounced zero sugar smell, I wonder what they actually, uh, what did they sweeten you with? Uh, amino acids, got taurine in there, sucralose, yeah, that makes sense. Um, despite having a zero sugar smell, it, the zero sugar taste is not very pronounced. It is well hidden by the other aspects of the drink, which is nice. That's, again, that's a positive aspect that a lot of those uh, zero sugar energy drinks, you know, have managed to work around now. Um... Uh, 
I mean, if I had to kind of give it a, a flavor, maybe sort of like a tangerine, like almost like a sour orange kind of flavor. Um, and again, that kind of goes along the lines of, again, sort of being that type of energy drink, because one of the ways that a lot of these energy drinks manage to sort of mask that zero sugar flavor is by using flavors that are tart or, you know, sour in some way uh, to kind of get around it, you know, to kind of sort of suppress that sucralose sweetener flavor. So it it's not doing anything that I haven't had before in one format or another, you know. Um, that's fine. I'm a little bit disappointed. I would have, because again, you know, I know that the, you know, 7-Eleven, it's, you know, it's kind of a bit of a knockoff for what it is. But like, again, some of their knockoff stuff is actually pretty good. And sometimes they even actually come out with some stuff that's, you know, pretty neat for what it is. Uh, this, it's a little bit humdrum. It's not bad, but again, it's, you know, it's not, not surprising me with anything. It's got a nice tart flavor. It drinks kind of dryly, which is interesting, I guess. I don't usually think of energy drinks that way, but yeah, there's kind of a little bit, a little bit of a dryness to it. Um, and that's got a little bit of a bite. It's not bad overall. Like, despite my slight derision of it, uh, you know, some of its very generic qualities, it's not bad because, again, I think they're basically taking what those other companies do and just doing it in a 7-Eleven way, or at least putting a 7-Eleven brand on it. And there's nothing wrong with that. I was hopeful for maybe a little bit more, but, eh. Eh, yeah, it's not bad. Um... But, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Um, no, and kinda. I think for me personally, like, for one thing, it doesn't... Again, going off of, like, the energy drink thing, you know, within the past, like, several years, there's been these, these more sort of, like, you know, upper-class-style energy drinks, you know, with all these bold claims and, you know, tension and this, that, and the other thing, and you fucking, you'll control an army of flying monkeys if you drink this shit. Yeah, that type of nonsense. I, I don't go in for most of those. You know, even though some of them are pretty good for what they are, I don't really care. You know, Zero Sugar, I don't have anything directly against. It's just, typically speaking, if I'm buying a fucking energy drink, I'm not worried about the sugar content. You know, like, it's already filled with tons of terrible shit, I'm sure. Um... So I don't care about the zero sugar stuff and then any of the extra bullshit. I, you know, I, again, it's really for me, it's the flavor and it's, is this going to keep me the fuck awake? I'm sure this will keep me awake, to be fair. It's got 200 grams of caffeine and taurine in it. Um, so yeah, there you go. But in terms of, you know, the drinking experience and all that, while it's not horrible, it's not anything that I particularly need to go back to and it's definitely not something that I couldn't already find very easily with any other brand. So for me, it's just kind of, it's, again, it's very humdrum. It's not really something that I particularly go for anyway. And then it's like, well, I also, excuse me, I also just have a lot of energy drinks that I would choose before this. So even though it's not terrible, there's just, this would be so far down the list of energy drinks I would go back to. But, if I'm recommending it, fundamentally, it's not a bad energy drink. I have had so much worse. I've reviewed so much worse on this channel. It's an okay, fruity-tasting energy drink. It's a little bit tartar than I would personally like, but it's not bad. Um, it does a good job, like I said, of masking the zero-sugar element to it. If you're into those type of energy drinks, like I said, like Celsius and stuff like that, sure. It exists. It's an option. It's probably a little bit cheaper. I'm sure if nothing else, I'll probably get you some points or some shit at 7-Eleven. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know that it's anything you really, I, I, I don't even know that it's anything you really need to go out of your way to try. Because again, if you've already had like Celsius and stuff like that, you've had this, you know. It's not doing anything new. But, who knows, maybe the other flavors will be more jazzy. But anyway, five things for I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, tremendous rest of your year, folks. Go over there themselves a truly 
generic branded but good tastic rest of your life. Because again, sometimes you get some generic brand stuff that's actually really tasty and good. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, what other uh, generic branded energy drinks should I go over there and try out for the show? I will say this. I'm actually happy to see this because there was a time when generic, like, store-branded energy drinks were very much a thing, okay? And I mean, and trust me, like, I way before I was doing the show, I've been collecting energy drinks because I just get a kick out of them. Uh, Kmart had their own. Walmart had their own. Like, fucking lots of Speedway. They used to have one called Adrenaline Rush. I actually really like those. Um, you know, so there, there's been plenty over the years. And, you know, I, I'm kind of happy to see that we're coming back for coming back from it. Coming back to it, that's what I meant to say, a little bit. Um, let me know if there's any others out there that I haven't gotten to that I should try. 